Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Black Eyes with me, Papa Omega, and Empire of Japan. So I want to start this episode by speaking a bit about um, the reformed government of China, Manchukuo, uh, Siam and us. There is two reasons why I want to do this. First is that I got a question or a comment by Robin uh, fifty uh, one fifty on uh, my video, and he asked me to show the focus tree of uh, reform government of China. But I also wanted to mention that uh, for those of you that are enjoying this let's play, uh, if we manage to win and um, end it in a really good spot, I am planning to do a follow up let's play of uh, Japanese Empire in the last days of Europe mod. I don't know if you guys um, saw my German playthrough in Black Eyes and the subsequent uh, last days of Europe as the German Reich, but it deals with the death of Hitler after uh, the you know victory in the Second World War. It's a really interesting experience where you play uh, a world superpower and uh, you face the inevitable downfall of the economy of you know uh, the slavery in german reich and so on and japan has been quite isolated in that way we haven't really checked it much so i'm really interested now with you know what we're doing and everything to see what it's going to be like uh, if you want to know whether or not that is your cup of tea you can go and uh watch an episode or two of the last days of europe let's play i did because it has a very different atmosphere it's mostly about the story and about the choices that you make as a global superpower much less about the actual wars because you know as a german reich that won second world war or empire of japan like there really isn't much that can threaten you uh, in such a playthrough but um it was really good because, you know, you have these uh, conflicts in Africa and in Asia and you're trying to influence them using, uh, you know, decisions and focuses and subtly uh, fight the other superpowers, uh, meaning United States of America and um, Empire of Japan. And you try to kind of shape the world in a way, gain more puppets. And it's, it's really an interesting experience. Uh, why I'm talking about this is, again, because we are uh, cultivating a sphere of influence here, the co-prosperity sphere. We already have uh, Siam as a friend, and we have the Republic of uh, or Reformed Government of China here, and Manchukuo, which are definitely going to be members of that. So, what I wanted to start with is that even with all of this territory that we passed to the Reformed Government of China, they have only 15 military and 41 civilian factories, while Manchukuo has 20 military and 61 civilian factories. This is why I started the entire Let's Play by actually investing in Manchukuo, because you can see that their economy is way better than uh, the Reformed Government of China, despite the fact that it's much bigger has a way more population and should be much more powerful but you know they're growing they're growing and they're doing their best now when it comes to the focus tree of uh, Republic of China I actually checked it out and there is a quite a lot of things here uh, they start with probably establishing a new regime which is understandable and then they're um, working through a tree of establishing control gaining police station uh, gaining compliance gaining vehicle stability and um, suppressing resistance they have a military tree here which gives them uh, two resource slots for infantry support and artillery and for doctrines uh, it expands their army and gives them some experience and ends in expanding the nanjing military academy and arms modernization uh, they also have the japanese industrial investments here which are based on cooperation with the japanese zaibatsus i'm really interested in seeing how this is going to be uh, you know portrayed in the last days of europe because i mean the zaibatsus are well, you know what, uh, just, just as another side note, in the German playthrough, uh, Germany pretty much created all these Reichs commissariats, but they're sucking them dry, like, insane. So I'm expecting that uh, Japan is going to be doing the same thing, and I'm not entirely sure whether or not the cooperation with some Saibatsus is going to be possible. But uh, they have Japanese industrial investments, they're repairing some of their factories, and 
reviving what's going on. Right now they're working on the rebuilding of CMMCO factories, which is going to give them a bonus to some models. And then they're start, going to start building their air force. They also have uh, the naval tree here, which might seem good and easy, but they haven't really even touched it. It gives them another research slot. And then in the end, they can request control of Taiwan from us, which is kind of interesting. And I guess if we accept, they can build some naval dockyards and bases there. So I wonder if we're going to see this uh, in or during this playthrough. Uh, they also can find uh, they can found a Chinese Aibatsu, uh, exploiting minerals, you know, excavation methods, synthetic ore experiments, and stuff like that. And the last tree or last part of the tree is locked until we destroy the Republic of China, because then uh, they work with these trying to uh, solidify the control. And it ends in complete pacification of Northwest China, of Northern China, and of Southwest China. So, you know, oh, and by the way, they also uh, can integrate Tibet and Xinjiang. So, yeah, I really wonder what they're gonna do. Uh, as far as Manchukuo goes, because I don't think we ever checked that one, they also have a huge focus tree which is uh, focused on the support of whatever we want them to do. So they got some Shova Steelworks. Again, we had this one uh, as well. They're getting some, you know, some research focuses here. Uh, they can pacify the countryside, invite the Japanese supporters, giving them extra factories and so on. Uh, they are getting some military and civilian factories here, and it works the way towards national defense state. And this part is focused on industry and destroying the opium plantations. And there is a bunch of ways they can uh, go here. But again, they also have the possibility to uh, conquer Tibet. They can gain Xinjiang. Uh, Imperial Legacy, and here they have collaboration with the Japanese, or mission to the US. <laughs> okay, so somehow they could maybe become part of the sphere of influence of the United States. How that works, I really don't know, but yeah, they also have the CMMCO here. So it's a similar and also complex focus tree. I like that they have that because it gives them a bunch of options uh, when it comes to us. And when it comes to Siam, yeah, I don't think Siam has a focus tree. Yeah, they don't. They have just the default one. And so how are you doing, Siam? You got 18 military and 28 civilian factories, some dockyards. Oh, we actually have ships you have a destroyer and four escorts Chimpraya class, Tachin class, Raruan class you got 12 airplanes okay and you get a ton of rubber well okay so I wanted to check that and see how that goes by the way speaking of rubber and everything I wanted to send uh, the Marines, after this is going to be finished, uh, to land in Davao, but I think we might actually start by the invasion of Singapore. That is something that I haven't really talked about, and um, of course, after we take Borneo and Philippines, it was always an option, uh, but I found out... I found out that they have unbelievable amounts of rubber and tungsten in here and also a lot of iron so this is going to be really good for us to take it it's deep within our oh, actually it's not okay so we need to get uh, can you guys get it no you guys can get it either mm, it would be good if we could get this area under control but we can't okay that sucks I guess what we're gonna have to do is 
move the region off coast of Japan and give you this area and probably even the Mariana region and add this one and this battle fleet okay you need to remove something so let's remove the Philippine Sea and give you this area as well oh I can't okay we'll just leave it as it is uh, but the invasion of Malaya could be fairly fast I don't think there's that many units there's just a couple of them and if we take Singapore and just march northward, we should be able to kill them all and take this area for ourselves. So, you know, that's something that I'm considering. Uh, we have a lot of decisions available here, by the way, uh, because our political power is getting uh, better. But we don't need the war propaganda. We don't need to manifest our destiny or the military parade in Tokyo. Uh, we don't need to train the workforce. No, we do. Okay, let's train the workforce. That is something that I want to get uh, on the table. And we want to hand over more territory to China, as we always do. And we're gaining more possibility here. Okay, you could develop mines over here. Or where's this one? Sichuan. Is, the, is it this one? Now we're already doing this one. Ah, here. Oh wow, that's crazy. We barely got that one under control. Um, but yeah, let's uh, deposit. Let's develop these deposits because we want to be able to rely on them as much as possible in the future in case we get fully blockaded. Okay, and last but not least, before we unpause the game, one important thing. Uh, we need to keep getting more fuel. We're doing good on food relatively, and we're doing good on uh, fuel. But I would like to make a mark of the fact that every week we have to have more fuel than we had before. So we're going to tone down some of our operations in lieu of the fact that we need to gain more fuel. And until the fuel situation is completely stabilized, we are going to be a little bit more... Um, a little bit more careful with what we're doing. Now, I'm not saying that we're not gonna run with the tanks. I'm not gonna say, I'm not saying that we're not gonna do major offensive operations, but we must not run out of fuel. That's just important. Okay, so uh, the situation in the Philippines is good. We got control of the um, entirety of Manila and of Luzon, and we're taking control. I mean, it already counts us as being in control, but there are still uh, three enemy divisions over here and two American divisions here, so we're gonna get uh, rid of those. After which, as I said, the Marines will be pulled and we're gonna send them against Singapore. In Borneo, the situation is a bit more um, on a knife's edge, I'd say, but uh, we struck major victory by taking the port of Kalimantan and the enemies are retreating into this territory where we are going to eliminate them and we're pursuing them down here and we just got reinforcements which are gonna uh, read the attack against the port of... okay it's not telling me anything else it's just Kalimantan so we need to take that one and we need to take... is it this one? yeah this one so these two ports need to be taken and then we're gonna be golden so we're working on that um, and in the you know in China we're taking this area so let me just finish that and we're moving the tanks because we've taken control of uh, nearly a whole of Sichuan well not nearly a whole we still need to take you and those are hills so how about we actually deal with that first so that we take the benefit of it we'll just take this one province 
and oh, this sucks. We need to have. And you have someone defend that. Alright, I don't know if I have anyone. Okay, I think you. You could go here. So go. And we're sending you. Okay, so that's fine. So let's unpause. Uh, see the game stabilize and chill. Okay, it's unable to. Uh, get a grasp on what's going on, but that is okay. How's the fuel? Okay, we're struggling a bit being or feeling the effect of the blockade already, uh, but the good news is that we're getting more fuel. Okay, you guys are being eliminated over here. We're taking the Apari port, so we're just gonna take this area can help on the elimination over here. Okay, once you guys get in here, uh, we're gonna launch the attack and do it. This is an elimination of three divisions, which is gonna be fine. We'll just take these two areas. You guys go over there. And once that is done, it will be Golden. I thought there were enemy there were enemy divisions that were retreating here. Huh, maybe not. Okay, but this is good because we're gaining control in this territory. Okay. Toshizo Nishio wounded. Okay, we need to push in here. Can continue pushing over here. Take the rail. How come these guys have such good defense? Okay, you're not an issue, but you are. Nathan Vedra. Yeah, our units are kinda exhausted. Mandatory Palestine has capitulated. Benito Mussolini has announced that the current mandatory Palestinian nation can no longer withstand the pressure. Oh! Okay, Italy took Palestine. And they got El Alamein and encircled some enemies here. Cool! Man, Italy is killing it. And so are the Germans, to be frank. Okay. You guys are part of the 15th General Army. I'm just gonna add you there. Where is it? Here. And you enjoy that. Fuel is increasing. That is given. Iron is fine. I just don't understand why. Okay, that's because of the. That is. Definitely because of uh, the refits. The refitting instead of building new ships. Okay, we're just building one, 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 and refitting. Okay, so that's good. That is good. Okay, we sank a convoy here. I actually sank a lot of convoys. Five over here, one over here. Anywhere else? Nope. Okay. So you guys are not having a good time. Sorry about that. We're gonna end up in a war camp. And once we finish that battle, you guys are yep. You guys will be put to attack Singapore. Uh, how's this going? Okay, you guys can go straight up here. This is a military district, whatever that means. Are you... you're not recovering anything. 
Okay, get in there. We need to keep pushing on them. Not really doing a whole lot of damage, but... Okay, this is... Not exactly working well. But if you come and you come, we ought to be good. And we can rotate you guys over here. To make sure that... We eventually push them out with it. Enough units here. Okay, this is the province with the port. It's the one that we want. Okay, another naval combat. Sink two Philippine ships. Okay, Marines. You guys will go to... Saigon and looks like Singapore is defended. So we'll go here. That is a port that we can take. Camping us to you back in Manila. Yeah, this is not gonna happen, right? Yeah, we have absolutely no chance. We'll supply. But they don't have a chance to... You know, attack us either. So we'll have to circumvent that by using the Marines. But for now, that's not really all that interesting. Okay, we're infiltrating the civilian administration. We're losing fuel. Yeah. Great. Complete blockade it. That's what I was afraid of will happen, but uh, with the control over Borneo increasing, how come you guys repel this? It's not exactly how this should work. Okay, I'm finally making some progress here. guys are going for that port and we finished the refits. No, we finished the construction of one of the Asashihu class. Oh, and you're going somewhere. Where are you guys going? Okay, there's a naval combat here between our destroyers and some American ships. Gotcha. Okay, uh, we got a chance to upgrade someone. So, who's that gonna be? I actually want to see. Come on. Okay, Intelliger. Navy. We don't have the refit of Ryujo and Hosho done. That's so why 12 Motsukis. 12 Motsukis. Miyoko and Mogamis. Okay, Motsukis shouldn't be an issue. And Hatsuharus. Okay, I like Hatsuharu. That is a decent ship. Wow, that one is actually very well equipped already. Okay, so let us work with that. Hatsuharu, where are you? Here. So this is going to be a 1942 Hatsuharu class refit. Then I'm going to get an extra cannon. Would the heavy one be better? Yeah, it would. Okay, they're going to get a better depth charge from her. 
but their targeting device, the hydrophone, um, the damage control. So that is a refit worth of 608 points, but we increase flight attack by 0.7, depth charges more than double, anti-air, wow, is higher, what, seven times? Surface detection increases, sub-detection increases, max range increases, and reliability increases. Don't mind if I do. So Hatsuharu's you need to go. It's not gonna be that expensive to do either. Yasui Okamura or Yasuji. That would be Yasuji Okamura. Uh, where are you, Mr. Okamura? Over here. Can't get any extra skill though. I'm killing defense force could, but let me see if we have. Okay, the drill fleet. The primary fleet, but by Admiral Isroku Yamamoto, the one and only, can't get anything else. The submarine guys, we already. Yeah, torpedo expert. Definitely, that's gonna help. And the blue navy. Or the blue uh, submarine navy, nothing. Okay, well. We did what we wanted anyway. Thanks, my friends. Go. Carrier task force has been finished. As a research, that is a great doctrine. It opens way to carrier deck park. Increases deck size by 10%. Okay, enable our attacks from carriers. Don't mind if I do. I'll take that. And we're gonna free military factory. Yep, there are army white bombers. We need to put more emphasis on our air force. Okay, you guys can join this. I actually think I'm gonna... No, I'm gonna send you over here. And one... Oh, you... okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go like this... Well, the fight is real, and so is the struggle. And the Marines are going, you guys are already preparing for the landing. Box it. From German Reich. Can actually lower that and ask for more from Manchukuo. No, we actually need more aluminum. So we can't do that, we need more. Okay, and we finished the submarine advanced hull. Now we really need to start working on better subs. So let us spend a little bit of time to work on the submarines. Because, believe it or not, this is gonna be Ka Kaidai 7. Yeah, let's call it the Kaidai 7. We need to have these guys perform as well as possible. So, Kaide 7. Uh, you cannot get anything here. You could get mining rails. We don't want that. And deck gun. Okay, these ones lower your ability to submerge. I'm gonna give you the best torpedoes available, which are the 500. Oh uh, no, 53.3 centimeter type 95s. Uh, you can get the improved submarine stealth. You can get the sonar. Okay, the engine is gonna be a bit of a, a bit of a pickle. Long range, 4,600. 
Let's go medium long range for now. We'll see. Advanced subdivisions. Damage control. Okay, and now the engine. We have an interbore engine. I'm aiming for 20 knots. Sub visibility 18. How were you doing? 23. Okay, so it is a great, great reduction. And if we go like this, that's. Okay, let's go with this one. That's sub visibility 18. And now the question do you want an anti air? That increases your visibility slightly. And so with the deck gun. Uh, but it would also give them quite a lot of an effective attack and strength. I'm usually after or against. I'm usually after as low sub visibility as possible, so I'm against a deck gun. But given them, for example, this one, the 10 centimeter deck gun. They increase the visibility by 0.2 and it gives them... Okay, let's do, let's do this. And a little bit of anti-air. They got 20 knots, high reliability. They're not very expensive and Kaidai the 8. Kaidai 8th class. Okay, compared to the previous generation. How are we how are we doing? Okay, I'll have to do it unfortunately this way. So you get sub visibility 23, we got 18, so a huge reduction. Light attack 1.3 and light piercing 5. Yeah, so it's the same thing. Torpedo attack 72 compared to 28. Max speed 20 compared to 20.9, max range 4200, same, we got 4218, strength 32, we got 42, surface detection 14, we got 17, uh, reliability 59, we got 71. Yeah, refitting the older subs might not also be a bad idea. Okay, and we'll put them up for production. Uh, we'll build, well, I guess two lines would be good. Oh, I better hide your phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just, just as I was about to say, like, I'm happy with it, then we immediately got uh, the possibility of a better one. Okay, uh, submarines are moving where we need them to. You guys are taking this port so they're reliant on the one last port over here and one last port over here. Yep, we sank two American light cruisers and three destroyers. USS Honolulu and USS Miami and USS Howard, Hogan and Russell. And who delivered the killing blows. Okay, so Mogami killed USS Russell. Hangi, no, Haugi killed USS Miami and USS Howard. USS Honolulu was killed by Asashio. And Nakajima, oh, one of them was killed by an airplane. Cool. So I'm happy to, you know, know that uh, our fleet is actually using the bombers. Okie dokie, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. We've done quite a lot. The issue is the fuel, but our units, or I mean our navy is going back. So that one will take care of itself. And... Well, the imports aren't doing all that good, but there's still a lot of untapped fuel over here and there is a lot of fuel over here uh, but we'll deal with this at this point forgetting how much 
here we gain 155. Well, we're extracting 60 and we're working on two catalytic cracking technologies at once. One will come in 40 days. Okay, I guess we're working on one. The other one was already finished. Yeah, okay, so we already have that bonus done. But yeah, I mean, that's still eight extra percent. That's like five oil or something. So thank you very much. See you in the next episode.